What have we discovered? An amphitheater? Okay. Yeah, this is a full-on full on amphitheater. There is nothing too exciting here, though. And good lord, what have we discovered? I am worried about my frame rates, but we cannot not voyage into this wildflower meadow. Good lord. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in Yelp Life, with another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. Uh, we left off last episode in the shadow of a mighty ice fortress, and in this series, we generally just walk endlessly westward, but when we come across anything particularly cool, we are absolutely going to take the time to stop and explore, and that is what I have in mind for today. I'm recording this one uh, on a bit of a whim and in a bit of a hurry, so I may not have my usual uh, interesting things to say, guys. I may just talk and hope I don't run out of things to say. Okay. Oh, that's a staircase up the outside. Okay. I wonder what we're looking at up here. The biomes in Life in the Woods, I think it uses biomes aplenty, but it's fantastic. Um, it just changes the world. It makes it so much grander than it's ever been in the past. Okay, so we have two. Oh, there might not be anything crazy to explore. I imagine, though, there are some goodies at the top. Uh, oh, 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 that's ice. You gotta be careful whipping around here. What a cool spot. Yeah, these are ice stairs, which is crazy. If you're not paying attention, you go sliding right the heck off the edge. So I'm going to play it nice and slow and safe. And uh, we'll see if we can't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, UTC. God dang. Nope. Nothing cool up here. That is an anti-block. I guess we'll take it with us. I don't know what else I would do with it. Let's check the other tower and we'll see. Uh, I'm going to be careful not to take... Oh, we're starving. Okay. Um, I promised last episode, guys, to try and learn how the cutting board works. It still seems incredibly complicated. There are thousands upon thousands of recipes. So I'm just going to keep eating morsels. And my plan, maybe at some point, will um, be able to do a collaboration in this series. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and I'd love to find somebody to collaborate with that knows this mod and knows their way in and out of it and could teach me a few recipes i've kind of had the idea hold on okay we're full i've kind of had the idea to incorporate collaborations into this series by having um people i know who play minecraft uh join me in this world and just be ahead of me on the path they can spawn in where i spawn in be waiting ahead in the distance and as i walk i'll just sort of discover them hanging out that's something that i'd like to work on as time goes on and oh we're coming up to nighttime okay just another anti-block um this is another thing i'll research in between episodes and we'll see if we can't figure out what it's all about oh god these ice stairs are treacherous oh there we go good i almost tipped right off there you go this is how you do it with speed um Night is upon us, so this is a really picturesque location for me to set up a bed, assuming we have one. We don't. Cotton balls. You think you can use those to make cotton? We'll see. Oh, I do have the supplies for a bed. Okay. And we'll have to collect more of this over the, the upcoming uh, days, because... Um, what am I doing? God. Okay, that's my backpack. I gotta make sure I pick that up. Oh, God. Okay, it's getting dark fast. Okay, get a torch out. Okay, get the backpack out. I didn't grab enough cotton. God, this this can be tense. Um, we're playing, obviously, in survival. And bad things still come out of the woods and mess with me. So, uh, where's the best spot to put this? 
Let's just go right here. Nope. I guess I can't. Pack dice. I wonder why. Alright, well, we'll put it out here on the snow. Uh, there we go. And we'll call it night. And guys, in the morning, we are going to continue our journey. We're going to keep walking. Um, let's, let's do that. Let me grab this. I'll get the backpack in the inventory. And we'll just sort of even things up. Uh, and put some, throw some crap in the backpack. Uh, things that I don't anticipate needing anytime soon. I'm going to drop that. And I think mostly everything else in this inventory is food. So we'll just go. So the sun rises in the east. That means we need to head west between these towers and off into the distance. I've enjoyed this series so far, guys. Um, I'd love to find some life in the woods people to collaborate with, maybe teach me a few things along the way. But as a total noob, I feel like we've done okay. We've managed somehow not to die. Uh, by the end of this episode, we'll probably have covered uh, 10 kilometers, 12 kilometers, something like that. Uh, last episode, we discovered penguins for the first time. They make quite the annoying noise, but is balanced out by their adorability. Um, and as you can see, the, the diversity of biomes, I mean, we just left an ice plateau and we're in this forest that's, I mean, it's snowed over, but it still looks lush. And speaking of lush, greener pastures lie ahead. Um, the water looks amazing. All these kind of ferns and things growing in it. What are you? Reeds. Interesting. Uh, let's see if... I guess I'm going to have to go up and over this hill. That's a cool tree. Willow. Nice. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed getting lost in the worlds of life in the woods renaissance. It feels like you're back in tune with nature. And I think Fedrin, who's the creator of the pack, had that in mind. Uh, I remember reading that she's a vegan and wanted to find a way... Crash number one, guys. We're set back ever so slightly. I was talking about Fedrin, who created this mod pack. And if you guys haven't played it, I'm pretty sure I put a download link in the description. It is so easy. I avoided um, I avoided playing with mods for a very long time because I was intimidated. Install Forge and try and get everything to work. And um, <clears throat> that's the bonus of mod packs, like this one. Okay. And... Um, Oh, I should have muted my Skype. Oh, well. You guys might hear the occasional blurp every once in a while. And we're having some frame rate issues, which usually leads to crashes. So I'm going to play it slow and steady. And hopefully you guys don't mind the framiness of this. At some point across the water here, it should get better. Guys, let me take my episode break. Um, I always take one in the middle of the episode, and until I get out of this part of the map, I think it would be wise to leave you guys, and I will come back to you. Alright guys, things seem to have stabilized. Um, yeah, the creator of this mod pack, she, I think, was a vegan. Wanted to find a way to play Minecraft without... as, as a vegan. Now, in the real game, I suppose you can eat potatoes and uh oh that's cool you can eat potatoes and bread and things like that but um i think she wanted to have a diversity of options i mean there are a lot of mod packs out there that let you uh here let's grab our shears did i lose my shears yeah maybe i did i don't know how that happened that's okay we can whip some up here I want to be able to take these sheep and uh, get ourselves some some wool for uh, tomorrow. Um, we are looking at another dawn, and uh, when night rolls around, we're going to need a, a bed. And I'll tell you guys, just spending a few minutes uh, on the wiki, looking at some of the things you can create with a cutting board or recipes that involve a cutting board. Are there more sheep around here? Yes, there are. Hi, Fluffy. 
give me all your stuff. Um, yeah, looking at that, honestly, I'm I'm intimidated. There are some cool mods that let you do a lot of cool stuff with food. So if that's the kind of mod pack you guys would like, I mean, there's a lot more to it than just food. Obviously, I've managed to make a walkathon series just based sheerly on the beauty of this. The, the, how beautiful this makes Minecraft. It sort of sort of changed it for me. I played vanilla forever, and uh, this series is the first time I have ever used shaders. Not just in a series, but um, in Minecraft. And it, it, it takes what is a game that, that has a lot of natural beauty just in, in the amazing landscapes it can create with a randomly generated algorithm or whatever you want to call it. I'm sure I'm not using the right terminology. But Minecraft can be beautiful in and of itself. And adding shaders and uh, a, a mod that, that adds so many trees and flowers and biomes. and I mean, it's just, it's a game changer for me. I honestly don't know how I'll go back. It's been a long time since I recorded an episode of my vanilla building series. Um, and for those of you, I imagine there's a few of you that watch this series that were regular viewers of Building with UTC. I hope I can get back to it. But um, if I ever want to build a, a really big audience for Minecraft, I think it's probably going to come through modded Minecraft. Uh, I was talking with my buddy McMastodon from my ARC server, and um, he has been playing Terra Firmacraft uh, for a very long time. God, what a gorgeous game! Um, Terra Firmacraft for a very long time, and um, he's managed over time to build up an audience. Um, I think the, his Terra Firmacraft videos get, you know, eight to ten times as many people watching as his. Arc videos and my arc videos at the moment at least are my best performing ones and as much as I love just doing what I do I do this so that someday I can do this as my job uh, I don't know if that'll ever happen but I don't plan on going anywhere and I don't plan on stopping give me all these berries beautiful um, and I think that if there ever is a day when a thousand people tune in to watch me play Minecraft uh, on a, you know, daily or every other day basis, I think it'll start here and, or in another modded series, something new. But, um, with it, uh, the, the good news is for me, and for those of you that like watching me build, this is, this could be a launching point if the day comes that many, many, many people are watching me play Life in the Woods or another modded uh, version of Minecraft. Those people are Minecraft geeks, like you, like me, and um, they'll follow us to go watch a building series um, once that audience exists. But I think I'm going to try and take some time, spend some time in life in the woods, and see if I can build a bit of a following watching this series. Now, for those of you that are new, if you've made it this far into the video, this is... Oh, that's a tomato. Okay, let's um, get that out of the inventory. Let's get, yeah, uh, that out of the inventory. And uh, pretty soon we'll sit down and we'll snack on all the stuff we've got. But uh-oh, we may have found something, guys. And um, with the timing and with how little time I have to record today, this may be where we end this episode. Uh, let's have a quick look and see what sort of ground we've managed to cover in now almost five episodes yeah we're virgin on 13,000 blocks which is 13 kilometers and we've so we're doing about three a little over three an episode what have we discovered an amphitheater okay yeah this is a full-on full-on amphitheater there is nothing too exciting here though Maybe there's doors on the back side of it? No, it's buried right into the hill. And good lord, what have we discovered? I am worried about my frame rates, but we cannot not voyage into this wildflower meadow. Good lord. Yeah, frames are okay. We're sitting at 60, so life is good. And we're ticking towards another sunset. Let's see. 
just how far this long field of gorgeous flowers runs. My lord. If this game doesn't continue to surprise me, I thought at some point we'd have seen all the biomes. But that's clearly not going to happen. Um, I think I gotta stop, guys. Night is upon us. Let's just get over that hill here. Let's sprint for a minute, and we'll see. Um, if I needed more wool, we can certainly come here to get it. Okay, what's, what's just over the crest here? More. More wildflowers. This is unbelievable. All right, it comes to an end somewhere up here by this gorgeous river, and I think, guys, this is where I will end this episode, if that is okay with you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I know this was a bit of a shorter one. I don't know if it was a bit of a shorter one. Um, but here in this wildflower meadow, I'm going to have to call it night. And we're going to have to call it an episode. Geeks, thank you so much for watching this episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. I'm Unite the Clans. And I will see you all in the next episode. Let's see if we can't get this to spawn in. I'm telling you, this is way beyond anything I have ever done and probably will ever do.